Can we use the rock hard mattress? I don't want to. Can we push it? That doesn't seem to work. Can we pull it? Oh, we can. And there's a stick. What do doggies love? Sticks. Sticks. You st give stick to Walt. Ha ha. Except now we're screwed. Okay, so pick up the stick. Now, let's try and do this right now. Uh, can we use it with the key? No, we can't do that. I'm trying to remember how we actually solve this puzzle. Oh, that's right. Okay, so it's we need. A tibia. This will be even better to a dog. You stick Watch with the bone. Me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. <laughs> well done, Bone Master. Okay, so now. Toss the bone. Give the bone to Walt. You doggy doggy. Here, boy. And now he's dropped the, the key right next to us. So let's go ahead and pick up the small key. Use the small key on the cell door. There you go. Now we're out. But first, let's go ahead and pick this up. Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. <laughs> Mr. Guybrush Threefoot, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. <laughs> All right. So let's just go ahead and open up the There's gorilla envelope. here and an organ. A banana and an organ. So many jokes that can be made right now. Hey, that tickles. There you go. There's all my stuff back, plus the stuff from McGilla Gorilla. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. And that officially le lets us explore Fat Island, which we will want to do, but we've come across that time once again. So when we get... Welcome back, everybody, to more Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. So last time we lifted the Largo Embargo. We got off of Scab Island, and then we went to Fat Island, and were immediately imprisoned. Because Governor Fat is a douchebag. Mm -hmm. Safe to say? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and continue from there. So we are in the Fat City Jail, and we already do have uh, plenty of new inventory with which to work with. I don't know why we keep the envelopes, but we do. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And the first thing that we're going to want to do... I was actually going to say take that poster, but actually we need to replace it. So that's not going to be what we do right off the bat. The first thing we're going to do is actually going to be to visit the library because that sounds like fun, right? Absolutely. That sounds like absolute fun. Having fun isn't hard when you've and, got a library card. Well, and here, well, we don't have a library card, but remember what we do have. We actually had the uh, book uh, Big Whoop Unclaimed Bonanza and Myth. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. We we actually lost that. We got it confiscated from Governor Fat. So, because if I remember correctly, if I look in here... Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Mr. Guybrush Threefoot, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Did you, <laughs> did, did you notice what he actually said? Arrested for grinding his organ in public. Yes. And this, this is what came out of that influence. <laughs> Banana and organ. Grinding his... Grinding his organ. Yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but you get it. Ron Gilbert, I love you. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, the book we didn't get back because Governor Fat uh, confiscated it. So we actually do need to get, like, a replacement book, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. First of all, we're going to look at this model lighthouse. This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. This is a library. <laughs> yes, we know that. Are you starting to notice a pattern here? <laughs> yeah. She is just going to scream at us. So, first of all, I'm going to turn things up because it's a little hard to hear. Open. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Please be quiet. <laughs> She's going to do it every time, so just get used to it. We're going to take this lighthouse lens, though, because we're an asshole. And there you go. Uh, go ahead and close it. Uh oh It's stuck. I think I broke it. You're disturbing people. Well, Guybrush does that on a regular basis, so it's not, it's not necessarily wrong. Or out of the question for him. And so here's the library. Let's go ahead and talk to the librarian. Uh, excuse me. Hi, I'm looking for a book. Want to hear a fantastic ghost story? <laughs> I like that one. Right. Want to hear a fantastic ghost story? Shh. This is a library. Whisper. Now, what is it? I love it. <laughs> Whisper. 
Uh, I'm looking for a book. Why do you have a model lighthouse here? And sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. I'm looking for a book. I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? Uh, no. Uh, no. How do I get one? Or I must have left it in my other pants. How do I get one? How do I get one? Yeah. No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? So you you could literally lie this out. Uh, Guybrush Threepwood, Captain Dread, or Herman Toothrot. Captain Dread. You want to you want to do it for Captain Dread? Captain yes. Dread. Oh, poor Captain Dread. Captain Dread. Address? Uh, two two one B Baker Street, which is. I, I'm just gonna see if you guys can actually get the uh, the references. Ba isn't so, that from like uh, Sherlock Holmes? That's where Sherlock Holmes lives. Yes, sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue, White House. White House, uh, ten sixty West Addison. I don't know that one. I actually don't know that one either. And 10 Downing Street. I do, but it's escaping me. Yeah, same. So, okay. Uh, which one do we do? 1600 Pennsylvania. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, the Trump is paying for this one. Okay. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Age. Um, 21. Mm -hmm. uh, 21. 19. Uh, 21. 19. Uh, 21. <laughs> 19. Uh, 21. <laughs> Occupation. Consultant. Consult freelance. Unemployed. Pirate. Sure, pirate. Pirate. Vices. Vice. Why is vices a thing on a library card? Nose picking, jaywalking, murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. Jaywalking. Jaywalking. <laughs> okay. I thought murder was going to was gonna get done. Okay. Jaywalking. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. Only four. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. <laughs> what book are you looking for? Uh, I don't know what have you got, and whoops, I've just remembered an appointment. We're gonna do we're gonna do the remember just an appointment. Whoops, I've just remembered an appointment. Remember, silence is golden. So here's the thing. We don't know what to look for just yet. We actually have to do what kids in the nine up until the nineties had to do. We had to go through the Dewey Decimal System. And so many millennials are going, "What's the Dewey Decimal System?" And so many kids from the nineties are going, "Oh no, not that!" <laughs> oh yay! So let's go ahead and go through this stuff. So adult entertainment, Zelda Carbuckle tells all. Remember what's up? Uh, here's the thing. I'm showing this off right here and now, but we actually don't know what books to look for. Yeah. We will find that out over time, and then we'll come back and we'll look for those books. Uh, but yeah, this guys, if you've never done this before, this is how we did it before the internet, okay? And it sucked. I especially remember doing that in pre- or not in preschool, uh, elementary school. And our, and our Dewey Decimal System was broke. Because no, nobody knew how to organize it properly. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to this alley. Actually, no, we need to go to this alley first. So go to this alley. No more bets? Okay, here we go. What's going on here? Playing Wheel of Fortune, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It's taking forever. And... You have to click it or what? Uh, I, I literally have no control over it, guys. 16 red. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, Marley, and huh? a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. <laughs> So, yeah, little All reference to Monkey Island 1, the Linguini Brothers Circus. Let's go and talk to the dealer. Hello. How Hello. you doing? Uh, I'd like to play some bet. Could you explain how this game works? Do many other people come to play here? I just remembered I don't I don't gamble. Uh, I'd like to make a bet. All right. I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? So, seven black, six black, 17 red, 31 black, or 18 red. Seven black. Lucky seven. Like seven black. Okay, here we go.
Yes, it does take forever, guys. I have no control. It's just gonna take as long as it takes. Tan black. Oh. Too bad. Better luck next time. Well, thanks anyway. I hate losing. <laughs> Excuse me, pal. Wait, he's back. I wanna make another bet. 21 red. 21 red it is. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Does it ever stop? Does it ever stop? Yes, it does. 21 red. All right. Well, how do you get it? You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? It's a shady back yeah. alley gambling game. Of course it's fixed. Yes. I'm glad you just barely noticed that because guess what? As a pirate, we know what to do next. Well, oh, my bad. Sorry, <laughs> sorry guys. That is not what you do. You follow him and see where on earth he goes. Oh, he's going to the neighboring alley. Okay. Look at this. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is four, what's this? Two. Right. The winning number will be 18 red. Thanks. Oh. Okay. So that's how he did it. That's how he knew what the next number was. Uh, now, this is actually based on a very unique puzzle that if you didn't realize what was happening, then this would take forever to figure out. In fact, I've seen a lot of, of uh, lists list, list this under Adventure Game Moon Logic, but it's actually based on a common algorithm. And if you listen to the commentary, they explained that the, the guy who designed this puzzle, he had done it like numerous summer camping trips with his with his brothers. So it's like, holy crap, this is a thing. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? <laughs> Uh, what's the next winning number going to be? What are you and what are you doing back here? I'm selling the f these fine leather jackets. Have you ever heard of the legend of the mighty Guybrush? <laughs> Open up. This is a raid. And then, oops, sorry, I didn't mention, I didn't want to disturb you. We probably better keep things straightforward. So what's oh. the next winning number going to be? What's the next winning number going to be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. But he only had to do a one. If this is two, so. what's this? Five. So the, the way to be able to do this is actually to look at how many fingers he's holding up when he says, if this is. So mm -hmm. I'm going to guess that was one. One? Okay, yeah. that's one, right? So how many Two fingers more. is he holding up? If this is one, what's this? Well, five. 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 That's two. One more. If this is five, what's this? So three. 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 Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. Totally, totally. But I don't recognize you. What? You don't remember me? Uh, I was transferred here today. New orders. <laughs> sure. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be six red. Okay, so now we have the next number... Let's utilize this and let, let's let's take what we want from this. So I'm going to point this out. We don't have to get the pass to the Linguini Brothers Circus because they're on no Melee Island. We don't care. Okay, here we go. But there are two things that are interesting in there. Obviously money, because money is going to be helpful in the game. And second, the Mardi Gras invitation to Governor Marley's Mansion. So we probably want that. Because I have a feeling that Elaine's going to be involved somehow in this game. 18 red. All right. You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's enough for oh, me that's right. today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. So obviously they're both members of the Gamblings Club. And I think he actually took the last all thing of money. So you can't do it. You can't do that. Go round. So, I'd like to place another bet. I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? So, we want six red. I'd like six red. Okay. Here we go. 
Do you think it would have been possible if you would have guessed the right number if you never went through? Nope, the game literally rigs it so you can't. Huh. The only person who knows how to do it was Ralphie. Trust me, I tried. Six red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Okay, so well, which will it be? I'm gonna grab the thing that we immediately need, which is probably the invitation. I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay. Easy money. Now, there is pieces you of eight in there, so we are going to go for those, because why not? So let's go ahead and get the next number. Okay, so... Open the door. What do you want, kid? What do you want, kid? Uh, what's the next winning number? What's the next winning number going to be? Please give me the password. If this is three, what's this? Side so before. Four. Four. Right. The winning number will be six red. So we probably could have just guessed that again, and then we would have been fine. But Wait. no, you you do need to actually go back and uh, get the new number because it can change. But no, to answer your question, Andrea, the the, the puzzle is literally Easy unsolvable money. until you figure it out. So because it'll constantly put up another play. number. Because here's the thing: the number isn't assigned until you guess. Why does the other guy keep winning so much? <laughs> yeah, why does that guy keep winning? That's actually your hint. So maybe you ought to follow him kind of thing. But I already know how to do this. So. I'd like to play yeah, no, just... Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. <laughs> Which number you want? Uh, six red. I'd like six red. Okay. Here we go. Uh, you, you literally cannot stop this wheel. It has to go through. And it sucks. <laughs> sucks horribly. Six red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our five yeah, prizes, prizes do you want? want? Take your pick. You can have 60 <laughs> pieces of eight, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? Okay, so we need the money. Give me the money. He picks the money! Well, I'm out of money for today. You're lucky that you won the last of it. Congratulations! Thanks. So, you technically, you can go for the Linguini Brothers Circus Pass and just see him kind of shut down for the day. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Do you actually want to see him do that? Nah. Okay. All right, so let's go over to the next place where we can go, which is the pier. And you can see there's a fisherman over here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, and you even get this big version. And actually, I want to showcase this on, uh, is that F9? Which one is it, F11? Crap, I can't remember uh, what the control is now. Help and options. I'm gonna obviously cut this out, guys, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um... Switch mode? Switch mode, that's right, F1. Okay. Cool. Okay, we're back. So I actually wanted to showcase this because this is the closest thing you got to like a legit model for Guybrush back in the day. This is what he looked like. So there you go. But let's go ahead and switch it back and talk to the fisherman. Got anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. <laughs> I'm a game warden. I'll have to confiscate your pole. Uh, we'll introduce ourselves. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. I'm also the man who caught the notorious LeChuck. Yeah. I'm also the man who caught the notorious LeChuck. Yeah, right. If you fish as poorly as you lie, you don't even deserve to be talking to me. I am the best fisherman in these isles, you know. So you, why, why you couldn't fish your way out of a paper bag? You couldn't, you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. <laughs> why you couldn't catch a fish at a restaurant? Up to you guys. You couldn't you could catch cold. All right, 
You? Why, you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. So in other words, he's full of hot air. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean the blowhard? I'm known as the Sturgeon Surgeon. <laughs> the fish you catch are so small, you'd need tweezers to throw them back. I'm known as the Sturgeon Surgeon. I'm known as the Sturgeon Surgeon. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. All right, so not if your hooks are as dull as your wit, not if your bait is as tiny as your brain, not if your line is as weak as your lines, not if your reel is as rusty as your imagination, not if your lures are as ugly as you are. Out to you guys. Yeah, uh, first one. All right. Not if your hooks are as dull as your wit. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Uh, sure, I'll take your bet. No, I'm not a gambler. What sort of wager were you thinking of? Well, what sort? What's what sort? What sort of wager were you thinking of? If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Okay, sounds fair. What's the catch? Kiss your pole goodbye, but I don't even have a hook. What's the catch? What's the catch? If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Ugh. Sushi. Raw? Raw? You mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? <laughs> so yes. sushi. Yeah. Ick, where'd you get that other pipe? Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and <coughs> soy sauce? No. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right, it's a bet. It's a revolting idea. I can't think of anything less I'd rather do. And I need more time to think about it. We, it's we a actually, bet. Yeah, we, it's a bet. We need All to take right. it. It's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. Are well, you with now? all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> Ew. The thought of anything coming from Governor Fat's so, uh, Governor Fat's mansion is uh, a little disconcerting. Uh, give me a second. I need to get that image out of my head. Uh, 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 uh. I think everything would be radioactive. So you can go to Dread Ship automatically and just figure out another island to go. But let's go ahead and check out what we can. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. We need to go to the waterfall. Or actually, uh, do we have the stuff that we need? We don't, actually. So I, I actually think we're done with uh, Governor Fat's, or Fat Island, at least for the moment. So let's go ahead and head over to some of the other islands. To get the remaining stuff we do need. Where do you want to go? So, uh, the only other island we have haven't gone to is Booty Island. So let's go ahead and go to Booty Island and see what they have. Please take me to Booty Island. What happened to the map I gave you? We'll never find the island without it. I'll go back and get it. Wait, what? I guess we don't have the map. We don't have the map? What? What? Let's go back to jail. Was it? Was it, yeah, confiscated? If it was, then I'm going to be mad. But... Uh, I thought I got everything. That doesn't seem to work. It's empty. No. Small key. Model lighthouse lens. Oh, could that be what he wanted? No, that's the lighthouse lens, not the monocle. Oh, I have a feeling I have to go back to Governor Fats anyway. Dang it. Because we don't have everything back. Go through the path, and then we got to go down to the mansion. I didn't think this would be a thing, but... That's okay. We'll make this work. Open the gate. Okay, so open the door. Obviously, this guy's got the most chic area of the island. Yeah. These guys got some great beachfront property right there. Uh, let's go and go on in. Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Well, let's go and talk to him. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? I got time off for good behavior. You might be. Con you must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Governor Fat had, set, had me set free. Yes, I broke out. <laughs> I, I got I off time for good behavior. Oh, because I kind of want to do this one. Right. You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Oh, I see. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. 
So just in case uh, people are interested, this is actually something that wasn't here before. But if you look at this picture right here, this is a reference to a game that came out later, which is Tim Schafer's Grim Fandango. So they, this actually was not in the original game. It got added later because of the special edition. Nice. So since Tim Schafer came back, he wanted to do a nice little homage to his buddy, Manny Calavera. Uh, can I go upstairs? I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. I'd love to stay in chat, but I'm due at the manicurists. <laughs> can I go upstairs? Can I go upstairs? I'm sorry, but the governor doesn't want to be disturbed while he's eating. Oh, 